Good afternoon everyone, welcome to the vlog. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, so kung ano oras na siya pinapanood. So for today's video, I'm gonna share to you the place that we rented in Orabella Cubao for staycation. So we'll, um, we'll be renting this place for one night and the owner is kind enough to allow us to do some vlogging. At the same time, syempre, syempre para ma-market na rin yung place nila. No? Okay. So the place again is in Orabella Cubao, Quezon City. Located siya sa 21st Avenue along, um, basically, pwede kong sabihin na mas malapit siya sa P. Tuazon. Um, P. Tuazon, uh, kung familiar kayo dun sa daily supermarket, it's just across the uh, commercial building. Okay? So, I'm gonna flip the camera para mas makita niyo yung area. Oh my gosh. For a while... Okay, so over here, pagpasok mo ng pintuan, um, Okay, so over here, pagpasok mo ng pintuan, yan yung sasalubong sa'yo. So, okay. So, kitchen muna. This is their, um, kitchen. Kompleto yan. Meron silang ref. May multi-cooker dito sa itbabaw. And then, free na rin yung drinking water nila. The... Dining wares and the cookwares are inside this cabinet. So, makikita nyo siya dyan. Ayan. Okay. And then, meron na rin silang rice cooker. Meron silang electric stove. Just in case na hindi gumana yung multi-cooker, so you have the option to use the electric stove. Excess fun is over here para mas, um, ma ang tawag doon mas maitaboy yung usok palabas yan kapag ka nagluluto kayo and then so they have a very tiny dining area so there i think meron pang extra chairs naman that will cover for four yeah so hindi kasi sila pwedeng maglagay ng more than um two chairs dahil ma medyo masikip na siya yan pag naglagay pa sila ng more than that so, this is your mini dining table. Okay, so this is the living area where you can sit around and relax while you're watching. Yeah. So, they have a karaoke. Yan. So, yan yung kanilang Bluetooth speaker with mic. That's the portable media player. So, they have a mouse kasi para mas ma -ease, uh, mas mabilis yung pag-navigate ng cursor pagka nag-operate kayo ng TV. The mouse is connected sa portable media box nila. Ayan. So, instead of using the remote, mas mabilis yata ang gamitin yung mouse. So, down here are the card games. board games, yan, meron sila. So, para if you have kids na gusto mag-play or kayo mismo, the adult mismo, di ba? <laughs> Kung gusto nyo mag um, mag-play with your friends or with your partner, so at least meron kayo ibang gagawin aside from singing. So, by the way, um, since they have a portable media player um, connected yan sa internet, you can Stream, Netflix, and YouTube. Local channels are not available. So, if you wanted to watch some Batang Kiapo or news, whatever. So, maybe you can just um, open the uh, YouTube channel. So, this is their... Um, etong, etong portion na to, I really love this portion of the unit. Kasi parang, um, you know, foyer, foyer table is over here. Pero dapat yan talaga nasa entrada ng bahay. Kaya nang walang space. So, they just put it here. So, naging accent siya and nakaganda naman siya. And they have this um, mirror. If you wanted to check kung okay pa ba yung itsura mo. Okay. So, over here is the white balcony. Very wide yung balcony nila compared sa other. 
um, sa other properties or sa other condos na nakikita natin na parang yung kabalgo ni kasi nung iba um, enough lang para makapag ka or makapag-sampay ka, hindi ba? So, I think the balcony is one and a half meters wide. So, ganyan siya. So, yeah, this is the window of the room. So, mahaba siya eh. Oh. Yeah, so, pasensya na kung nahilo kayo. So, by the way, um, kompleto rin sila dito na cleaning material. So, if um, after check out or before you check out, uh, alam naman natin na sa mga staycation, eh, required ang clay go. So, clay go is clean as you go. Para, syempre, mas mapadali na rin yung paglilinis ng cleaner para mas mabilis din nila mapa-occupy yung unit for the next guest. Okay, so, sana naman din minsan yung mga nag staycation wag naman din masyadong salaula, no? So, <laughs> kasi ako nagpapastigation din ako, pero may mga experiences din talaga kami na yung mga guests din talaga, eh, kung mag-iwan ng kalat, akala mo, ang laki ng binayaran sa cleaning fee. But, hindi ko naman nila lahat. So, may ibig sabihin, meron lang talagang mangilan nila. So, this is your view. So, this is your view at daytime. I'm going to, um, parang I'm going to insert a clip, no, kung ano yung view niya man dito at night. So, yan. So, you are uh, on the 19th floor of the building. Okay? So, pasok tayo ulit. Okay. So, yan. This is the uh, other side of the view. Okay. So, going in is the bedroom. Okay, this is their bedroom. The bedroom has a queen-sized bed. Again, queen-sized. So, it's 60 by 75. Vertically, a three persons up to four na, na mga payat can fit dun sa bed. So, vertically or horizontally, I think, Pwede, kasha up to four. Okay, so you have here a cabinet. So, pwede kayong mag... Um, pwede kayong mag store ng clothes. And dito naman is the drying rack. So, pwede rin kayong magsampay dyan ng bag, ng towels ninyo, kung gusto nyo patawin. You can put that sa balcony if gusto nyo may maarawan na... na clothes or towels or whatever. So, this is the Cleopatra. If in case na hindi ka siya yung other packs dito sa kama, so, they can sleep here. And in fact, dito sa sa couch na to, kasha ang isang tao. And two kids, siguro, if you have kids, so, they can fit dyan sa, sa couch na yan. And apart from the, uh, couch and the bed and the Cleopatra meron silang um, single size na air beds na available. So nakatiklop 'yon kasi hindi naman siya pwedeng lagi naka naka ataw dito, nakalatag dahil magsisikip yung room at the same time. Hindi naman laging marami yung nag na nagre-rent na guest, no? So usually two packs, three packs, four maximum. So but but this room can accommodate up to eight packs. Why eight? Like I said, the bed can fit up to four packs. And then another one in here, sa Cleopatra. Sa couch is another um, space for an extra box. So, ilan na yun? Um, I think four, five, six. And then the single size air beds na dalawa. So, another two packs para doon sa beds na yun. Okay. So, again, pasok tayo ulit. This is the rest room or the uh, comfort room. So, ayan. So, naglagay si owner ng design, mini frames for some vibe. That's lang kasi malulus. Okay, so I'm so sorry about the uh, previous video. It was cut. <laughs> so, okay. And um, dito, sa shower area, very spacious din siya kayo um, masisikipan habang naliligo. 
and uh, kompleto na rin to, meron siyang heater na rin siya, may shower heater na rin siya. So, para doon sa mga hindi sana yun, maligo ng malamig na tubig, eh, goods na goods yan sa inyo. Okay. So, I think we're done with the uh, areas ng loob ng unit itself. So, later on, baba tayo sa lobby, and then punta tayo sa roof deck so you can see the amenities of the building. Okay. So, again, this is the bedroom. This is your living area. Okay. And that is your very wide balcony with a very great, uh, with a very good view. So, it's a, it's a good view and it's a great view at night. So, Ayan, kasama yan sa mga binabayaran natin. So, yung mga iba na manghihingi ng malaking-malaking discount, eh, please naman. <laughs> Maawa naman din po kayo dun sa unit owners. <laughs> okay. So, later again. Okay, we're already downstairs. Sa dito na tayo sa lobby ng Orabella. Ayan. So, mapapansin niyo ayun yung kanilang swimming pool. At, um, nasa left side yung kanilang basketball court. Ayan. So, makikita niya very spacious yung kanilang lobby, no? Hindi rin ganun kadami yung tao. So, mas may privacy. Uh, mas may privacy kayo. Isang property kasi nila. Sa may silang din balintawak. Medyo resort feels kasi yung doon. So, here, compared, pareho yung yung design, ano? Yung itsura. Pero dito, mas um, yun nga, mas konti yung tao. Yeah, ito yung kanila naman na pool area. Ay, yung lap pool nila. So, medyo mainit kasi hindi ako makagawi doon sa kabilang side. Nandun yung kitty pool. So, ito yung restroom nyo dito sa baba. Pwede kayong mag-shower or you know, gumamit ng toilet just in case nandito kayo or next swimming kayo para hindi na kayo pumanin. Over there is the snack bar. Alam ko ito, um, for bidding ito eh. Uh, let's say, for example, nandito ka, dito ka nakatira or you wanted to put a parang um, ano ba yun? yung parang food cart, something like that so yun, pwede mo siyang i-rent hindi ko lang alam yung buong detalye pa so ito naman yung playground area kung saan pwedeng maglaro ng safe na safe yung mga kids ninyo if ever pumunta kayo, i-rent nyo yung place sa taas, tapos may kasama kayong bata, pwede silang bumaba dito at maglaro so, secured naman yan. Nakita nyo, um, nakadamo naman siya. So, hindi naman din sila um, prone sa sugat or sa gasgas. Yung trampoline yan, yun, nakita nyo, nakaklose. So, hindi ko alam, baka may sira siya. Ito, another side ng lobby. Ayan, sobrang laki, di ba? Kaya, kung meron kayong bisita, pwede nyo na silang i-accommodate dito sa baba. Alright, e, so, nandito na tayo sa taas. Nandito na tayo sa roof deck naman. So, kanina, lobby, ngayon, roof deck naman. <laughs> makulimlim na. Ayan, kanina maaraw. Ngayon, medyo makulimlim na siya. So, hindi tayo masyado makapag-video na matagal dito sa roof deck. So, ito yung view ninyo. Ayan, mapapansin ninyo, di ba, napakaganda ng view. Um, lalo na sa gabi yan, sobrang ganda niyan ng view na yan sa gabi. And this is your extra space naman where you can lounge around. Um, pwede ka mag-coffee, mag-breakfast, or mag-snack. Then here goes the gym, and then the entertainment room. Good morning. So, this is our day two dito sa Orabella. So, kinuhanan ko ulit ng shot yung lobby. And mamaya lalapit tayo dun sa pool area. So, para mas makita nyo yung size niya. Kasi yesterday medyo mainit, so hindi tayo naka, nakalapit masyado dun sa kanilang pool area. So, uh, mamaya lapit tayo para mas makita ninyo. And, um, by the way, I forgot to mention, yung unit nga pala, no? Yung unit is, um, mag-range siya from 1,700 per night for two packs. So, for every packs, meron lang silang additional na fee. So, depende yan kung... Magka, ah, depende siya sa season kung magkani magiging rate nila. So, their rate differs per day. But the minimum amount is 1,700 pesos. So, if you um, if you wish to uh, know more about the, the uh, prices and the details, so, just uh, message nilang po the page na itatag ko no, dito sa vlog. 
Okay. By the way, yung pool area nila, um, as per the owner, um, ang pool access po is 200 per head uh, from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. only. Now, if you wish to use the pool again on your second day, another payment po siya ulit ng 200 pesos per head. So, ganun po siya. And, um, uh, ano pa ba? So, yun, so far, um, okay naman yung pagstay namin the, from last night until today. So, na-enjoy naman namin yung, yung unit, yung environment dito. So, tama talaga yung privacy. So, mararamdaman mo siya talaga dito na hindi siya crowded yung place niya. Talagang, kung gusto mong mag-relax and to get away lang muna from the regular ambience na meron ka. No? So, pwedeng-pwede rin talaga dito sa Orabella. Okay, again, the uh, property is located at Orabella sa 21st Avenue, P. Tuazon Project 4, Quezon City. So, ayan, uh, message nyo lang po yung page. If you wish to book a unit, ayan, tanong nyo lang po sa kanila kung may available units sila on your preferred dates. So, um... Again, thank you so much for watching the vlog. I hope um, nakakuha kayo ng idea, no? Kung saan ninyo, um, kung nag-isip kayo ng places to go to. Ayan. So, again, this place in Orabella, okay, under Blissful Havens Staycation, eh, swak na swak po ito sa inyo. Very good po talaga yung property. And alam ko hindi po ako mapapahiya by doing this vlog. Again, thank you so much guys for watching and until our next video po ulit. Bye!